Let's take a look at how we can use Space Claim to quickly come up with a concept model. I'll show you with four simple tools, pull, move, fill, and combine, you can accomplish 80 to 90 percent of your modeling needs. So let's get started. Now generally in typical CAD systems you need to start off with some kind of a complicated sketch that has dimensions, maybe it's a skeleton sketch full with references, and before I can even finish that sentence I've got solid geometry on the screen with Space Claim. Let's back up and I'll show you that again. With this pull tool I can pull a line into a surface and transform that surface into a solid body. That's a fast way to create geometry. Now let's look at the same thing but using a closed loop geometry instead, namely a circle. I can pull on this region and create a pin, creating geometry away from the entire model. At any time with this tool, it's easy to modify geometry just by grabbing faces. Now I'm doing a lot of freeform changes, but at any time I can type in a specific value that I want. Or I can grab this pin, push it all the way through, and now I've got a through hole. Now Space Claim has a very intuitive nature such that when I pull on an edge it says you probably want to make a round. So it goes ahead and does that. At any time I can turn that into a chamfer with ease. Now this is a good time to mention that all the Windows tools that you're familiar with, copy, paste, redo, undo, those work wonderfully in the Space Claim environment. I'm just going to grab that hole, copy it to the clipboard, and paste it. And now I have a hole on a new surface. So if I want to undo those commands I just did, I could do a control Z on the keyboard or go to my quick access toolbar and do an undo a few times. Now let's take this a step further. The way I think of this is why recreate complicated sketches all over again when I've got useful geometry right in front of me in space claim. I have the ability to copy edges and pivot them and I start to get some phenomenon that I just can't get in a feature based CAD system. I can really start to accomplish anything with the ability to reuse this geometry again and not have to worry about what kind of effect it will have on history, on my history tree, because I have none. And now I have a new region to work with. I can pull on this region to create geometry or remove material from it. Let's take this concept modeling a little bit further. I have the ability with one tool to start trying out new ideas in my model. I can create a revolved protrusion or I can even blend between multiple surfaces. I can just try out these ideas on the fly and I don't have separate commands that I need to learn. I'm doing all of this within the pull environment. So as you can see you can do a whole lot more with pull than just pull on faces. It's very intuitive in nature and based on your clicks it knows what you want to do. That's the pull tool. Let's go on to the move tool. As you can guess move will move faces in one direction or another and if I need to keep a certain distance between different elements, I can do that as well just by grabbing multiple ones. Now Move will also rotate any faces in the three degrees of rotational freedom. Now what's really unique about this Move tool is that I can also use it to influence edges. And again, get some phenomena that I just can't get with a feature-based CAD tool. Now, I need to grab all four edges on the top here, and rather than select them individually, Space Claim gives me the ability to select a loop of those edges, but I don't have to jump around the screen with my mouse. I have this handy radial menu that pops right up on the screen, and I can easily grab all the different edges uh, that I need to on the fly. Also, with this Move tool, I can create a symmetric move, and it doesn't matter whether those elements are the same or not. It's just another aspect of this tool uh, that allows you to modify your model on the fly in very specific ways. Now this move tool will also allow you to copy geometry from one location or one face to another. Now think about the implications of this. No longer is incorrect placement of geometry a concern because with this tool I can place it where I want it to go. Other CAD systems are going to make you pay the price for not anticipating design changes but not space claim. Space Claim will let me make drastic changes to my model. Watch as I think outside the box, literally in this case, as I transform this model into, into something cylindrical from a rectangle. Now if you look in my structure tree in the left hand side, I don't have any history of where I've been, no sets of commands. All I have is at the end of the day, two solid bodies on the screen and Space Claim lets me edit them independently. I can even make a symmetric change to the length of the cylinder and it won't affect the body at the top. 
Now as far as grabbing, as far as merging these two bodies into one, it's really simple to do, just dragging one into the other, and now I'm left with one solid body. So people will ask us occasionally, can you make patterns, whether they're rectangular, linear, or uh, cylindrical? And the answer is absolutely, but we take it a step further. As you're making a pattern, based on the position of your mouse, SpaceClaim will infer how many instances of that pattern you want. It's just another part of its predictive, intuitive nature. Not only will it do that, but it will retain associativity to the original, so that as I make a change, as I pull on one diameter, all those diameters of the instances change. Maybe I don't want that phenomenon to happen. Well, that's as easy as just unpatterning any of the given members I want. Now, let me introduce you to something called the Fill Tool. Some people call this the Magic Button. It's very simple but profound. All it does is delete faces of the geometry, deletes features that you don't want, and replaces them with nearby surfaces. It's a powerful way to get rid of things no matter how your model was created. Now, this is what got my attention when I was first introduced to Space Claim, and it's the ability to slice and dice a model up. I'm going to put a plane down the middle and use that as a basis for cutting up the model into two solid bodies. Now, I have two separate bodies to work with, and they're completely independent from each other. And I can pull one apart and edit either of these bodies however I want. Now, maybe it's at this point where you decide that these two solid bodies really need to be uh, turned into an assembly, part of a subassembly. And so with Space Claim, you don't have to decide ahead of time if your model is going to be uh, one given part or uh, an assembly. I can just turn this into an assembly on the fly. And to show that these are actually different components, we'll go ahead and change the color of one of them. Now, maybe I need to add some new components to my model at this time. Well, that's a piece of cake to do. I don't need to go into a new part. All I can do is just start sketching anywhere in the model and I'm free to create a new solid body. I have a new solid body, let's turn that into a component. And I have three components. I've just turned this in from one part into an assembly. And maybe I say, well, I really want this to be one part. Well, that's a piece of cake to do. With this combined tool, at any time I can take any solid bodies on my screen and turn them into one body again. Now if we look over at the structure tree, you'll see one component with one solid. So maybe you decide, this is how I want my model to look. I need to convey this to somebody in some kind of a 2D fashion. Well, Space Claim gives you the ability to put any geometry on a drawing sheet. We like to think of this more as an engineering notebook. It's a way to quickly convey your ideas to someone else. Immediately when starting a drawing, I've got three views that pop up on the screen, my front, top, and right. I can put an isometric or general view in at any time. Now with Space Claims drawings, you have complete dimensional control over your model, just as you would with any CAD package. I can put radial, linear dimensions, even angular dimensions uh, between different elements. Now as far as other types of views go, I can put a cross-section view anywhere I want. I can even put detail views as well. So you see we give you a lot of different options for how to convey your ideas to people. What's incredibly powerful about this is that I can edit my model at any time in this 2D realm. Watch as I grab a face and pull on it and I'm changing the diameter. And You can see in the cross-section view and the isometric view the model is updating in real time and I'm getting the dimension uh, callout updating as well. And the reason this is so powerful is because I'm still working in a 3D environment, even though I'm looking at a 2D sheet. So there's no need to wait for your model to update or rebuild. You're always working on this 3D model in a 2D projection. So I hope that gives you an idea about the power of concept modeling and editing your model uh, in this space claim environment.